me some dust. It's ready to go. Oh snap. No. Oh, man, there's not a lot of them. Alright, here we go. Up, real man for him. Everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Eat or him? Oh my snack. god. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies as Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Boy. This is a grown man's game. You can F around, F around, F around, get smoke. And I Dirty found you. Dirty and ugly. bloody, Ugh. Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we said this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. <laughs> Now, I've got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter. He's a that cat, he's a frog. On the other hand, I he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper. Even if he couldn't get the whole thing, it must have great power. Hmm. You know what, let's go to Zen, Zen Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. Wow. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right," said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Yeah, it would. Mmm. Ah, I hope. Well, I know we're gonna have to fight her. But <laughs> I hope this is not another quick ending like last one. Oh my God, I'd be so mad. And I think I got like two more, two more choices, and then that would be the end. I'm gonna be like, wow. The city was already under Zenobia's control. They had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy hey, of the interrogators. He won't that push. He really turn her over to that push. Them. But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Wow, I still only have five? They didn't give me like new health? Like what type of crap? Okay. Nice. 
da 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 Sleep tight, thought Renato. Thank you. Nah, they. I hate these guys. They. They killed my boy. What the heck? What just happened? Oh my goodness! Wow, I messed up so bad. I had so much health too. Shut up. Shut up. Googly moogly. Oh damn, come here. Gotcha. Oh my god. My god. god. It's full of stars. <laughs> Guys, give me a sec. Give me a sec. There we go. I'm flashing everybody. Oh my god like the laser didn't even come out of his eye like it wasn't even ready got my fire torch i'm a firefox Said Archimedes, and I shall open a gate. Sleep, sleep. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyelids. Doom, doom, doom. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the firefare a little bit on fire. Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, That's and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Oh my god. Let's do it. Oh, this is gonna be fun, said Lapino, as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Let's do it. <laughs> hey. I've already messed up. I've already messed up. Hey, your workbench! He could try out his new bling. Treasure hunter. That one percent. Okay, it worked one. <laughs> oh, okay, freaking upgrade! Yay! No, I'm gonna save it. Wait. Oh, yeah, we're getting that. Oh my god. Ooh, I had to do that. Let's go. Renato felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Lapino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, said Lavino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. 
Ah, told you. Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'll head for the Imperial outpost, yelled the Pino. Wow. You have to catch her. Wow. Oh my gosh, I hate her. I swear. I swear I hate her so much. And I don't even know her. She freaking jumped out. And somehow landed. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. <laughs> but he wanted that pussy. Wow, I just wasted it. Ooh. This is kind of huge. Oh, he wished good. there were more pylons he could use the hook on. They really needed to construct additional pylons. Hmm. Oh, for real? Is this one? Oh, dang. Okay. That's what's up. Ah, uh, that's not what's up. Oh, you. Oh, that's it. Move out the way. Wow, I can't even move. He was like blocking my way. Oh my gosh. I was trying to go straight. He just came through and they just both locked me in. Closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. No. Oh Maybe gosh. he could talk to her. No, but bro. After all, you can't. There were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Do it. Watch out for explosive raisins when you hit a throw, they will explode into the base. Back up, son. Yeah, they got it. Bring it close, hit them, send them back. Yay. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. <laughs> You're enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far fair, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? 
Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. Now we're going this way. Reached the ruins. Renato could see ravens everywhere, searching for the rebel base. They'd have to hide the farfarer or go on foot. What if we get separated? Asked Lapino. For once, thinking ahead. I'll draw your map to the base. Renato told Lapino. Renato, don't do this, said Zenobia. We were friends once. We shut it, witch. Or I'll shackle your mouth too, said Lapino. And then, a few moments God later, God damn! Hey, he really does not mess with her. He's like, nah, you did the homie bad. I had to freaking take care of the homie over here, making sure everything was good. Oh my gosh. That shit. That shit is sad. I know exactly what you're going through, bruh. Don't worry. But you know, my hood would never let me get my feelings. So let me just. Woosa! Yeah, new map. As Lapino pulled Zenobia off the Farfarer, Bernardo readied himself for the battle ahead. I'm sorry I nicked your jacket, she said. It's just. Oh, God. It's stupid, but. It smelled like you. What? He said, confused. Then. Why didn't you ride? Why didn't you fire speak? Oh, save the romantic nostalgia. Let's go! Shriek Lapino. So Renato launched himself down the path to the sea. Yeah, he is base. really trying to, like, be, well, get this really out the way. He's to like, to I got time for this, bro. this whole use you, bro. Don't be Captain Sable Ho, Lupito. I mean, not Lupito. No, Lupito? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, his name just got, like, brought up and I totally forgot it. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, or something. There we go. This was yep. way uh -huh. better than being able to shrink down to the size of an ant. What was that all about, anyway? I don't know, man. After you. <laughs> wow, he got me. Yeah, you got a power. Ooh. Give me a shield, bitch. I need to actually see him. There you go. We missed her. Not Zenobia. Hypatia. The kid's mother. Renato had never thought he'd date a librarian. <laughs> he'd always figured himself for the barmaid type. But then, he'd never figured the library of Uba would have comic books, or that Hypatia would know anything about them. He missed her. Oh. I'm sorry. Renato checked to make sure his sword was still working. Yep. He did it again! He's so lit! Yeah, take away the shield and they're just like the crows. Since what? Renato was walking Zenobia to the rebel secret base, where she would be interrogated. So, why was he feeling so scared? I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> it just saves like the whole. Answer, answer, answer. What were these poles no, exactly? No, okay. Parking meters from the time of the lost gods? Nah, man. 
Get off, man. It's in the house. What is that floating? You see this? What the heck? So weird. Some weird stuff going on. That's that hero power and come inside. That's that fire right now. Fire will <laughs> only let you through if they think you're hot enough. Was it even a question? No. <laughs> Where is it taking me? I'll draw you a map of the Rainbow Base, my ass. He doesn't even know where he's at. <laughs> Yay. Alright, next thing, guys. The next uh, workbench, I see we got to go freaking um, put this gem on. Oh, it already went. Oh, okay. Never mind. Word. Winter throw. Ooh, this sword from the north was that? really useful for making popsicles and burnsicles. Oh, that's all I need to know. What the heck? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, never mind. Up and fight. Okay. They caught their breath. It's beautiful, she said, looking at the ruins. This used to be the library of Ubar, he said. Before your father's ravens smashed it. Do we have to talk politics? She asked. That's not how I want to remember you. She said with an odd, wistful oh, wow. look on her face. She was as beautiful as she'd ever been. And as brave. Papino huffed. They got back on the trail. Hmm. <laughs> They never mad. They never mad. Why are you so mad, bro? We just left him too. propulsion system fueled by anti gravity so and mad, bro. wishful thinking. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it, baby. Imagine they help light those up if I go not into the ground. Like, oh my gosh. He's a savage. He just cut people in half. I'm like, oh. He'd have been on my team, son. Bernardo checked for a false compartment. Nope. I love that. Always goes to the one in the back to see if not prepared. The world of life. <laughs> Alright, take it. Really cool. I did What's not for dinner, see him. I hope it's not broccoli. I did not see him till like the very end. But Tune gone. Come on, activate it. Let's go, let's go, baby. And the uh, rebel Long base. Stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. And they're so here. Far, so good. It shouldn't be this hard to find a rebel base. I mean, you only have like a few like floating land things. Like, come on. Oh, dang. I thought he wouldn't make it. Chill out, boy. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. That'd be fun. Go, snatch. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oops. Out. Out. Nice. All right, okay. Take it out. What the heck? I'm. It's the thing went through him. They said, "No, you can't get this one, bro." Well, what's I'm supposed to get? Mm, the one in the back that's not trying to hit you. this work get this work yep yep back here these guys as they made their way to the secret rebel base Renata felt strange Zenobia was his prisoner yet Somehow, she felt more like an old friend. He wanted to tell her all his secrets. And mm. suddenly, the ruins lit up with thousands of fireworks. There was a thunderous roar and dust rose. The caves were collapsing. Okay. The caves. Have you been playing me? Bernardo said, and he stared at Zenobia. I'm sorry, she said. She seemed almost embarrassed. Then, everything went dark. When Renato came to... He had a terrible headache. Also, Zenobia's sword was at his throat. And her shackles were gone. So was Lupino. The terrible what? thing is, he said, I really have missed you. Now that we've destroyed the rebellion, would you consider becoming an advisor to the Emperor's daughter? I'm no one's servant. Everybody serves. Even if it's only destiny. I'll have to wow. choose my own destinies, he said. The whole point of a destiny is you can't choose. Oh, never mind, she said. Look, if I see you again, I'll have to kill you. He watched her ship soar away. He would see her again, he decided. Even if he had to fight his way across the entire fleet. Wow, she freaking destroyed the rebel base. 